Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and uh, today we're going to look at the uh, Great British Pound Sterling and the US Dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down quite substantially. The last four trading days from Tuesday to Friday, we saw uh, this pair go significantly lower. We had previous uh, a really good bull run last week. Uh, the previous week, and now we basically ran into major resistance at 13.47. Um, this is also due to the US dollar uh, appreciating. If you look at a US dollar index, we can see that it was appreciating at the same uh, time, and that is probably why we have this uh, significant pullback. However, the, the uh, 20 exponential moving average is still uh, acting as support. And as you can see from this candlestick from Friday session, uh, we broke down beneath the uh, 20 exponential moving average and then shot up again and uh, ended, uh, yeah, ended in red. But this is a really clear sign that this market is not ready to break down anytime soon. We may see some kind of choppy trading uh, in this pair the next um, Monday. It will probably not happen because the US dollar stock market is basically close. Uh, and, uh, but on Tuesday, we'll continue probably with a little bit of choppiness and then we'll go higher. Uh, if we look at the, uh, the technical indicators, the RSI is still pointing upwards uh, and it's not overbought. The MACD has crossed the signal line, uh, but I do intend, uh, I do expect this to go basically up. Uh, in a few trading days, it will go up again. If you look at stochastic, it is quite negative, um, but we have tried this before. We, for example, saw here, it broke down quite substantially, and then it would basically went up again. I do expect us to do uh, see something similar to that. The same goes for the um, Bollinger Band. We basically touched the uh, booing average and then we basically went up again. So at this point, I don't expect a massive breakdown. Uh, we may see the US dollar appreciate uh, for a few more days, maybe a week, and that will uh, be quite negative for this pair. It won't shoot up until we see a significant uh, fall again in the US dollar, which is expected as long as um federal reserve is uh, still conducting uh, it is mo its monetary policy which basically is destroying the dollar uh, by flooding the market with cheap uh, liquidity so if we look at the us dollar in japanese uh, yen we saw this massive green candlestick in the previous week and as I said um, in my previous video, I do expect this market to go higher from here because we ran into uh, support at this level. If we were to break the support level, we'll go all the way down to, uh, to 104, uh, which we didn't go. So we may see this market uh, again go and test this green line, which is the 100 moving average before uh, continuing uh, uh, its basically sideways, yeah, fairly, yeah, sideways momentum, uh, sideways trading at the, at the moment. So we're trading within this, uh, this uh, block here, which is in a, in a, in a highs of uh, 107 and lows of 105. So expect this to continue for the foreseeable future. If you look at the technical indicators, there are, if we could look at the RSI, it's basically showing that we're going down, which uh, we'll probably go and touch. I would expect us to touch this uh, uh, 100 moving average before going down. Uh, we see the uh, MACD is basically pointing upwards, and the same goes for the Bollinger Band. We'll probably touch the uh, upper Bollinger Band before uh, pulling back. And uh, the stochastic is basically neutral at this point is basically just pointing to the side so probably have two three two trading days where before we get to the size before and then go back down if you look at the at the euro us dollar it's very similar to the to the uh, great rich pound in the us dollar we created this flag here bullish flag here and then shut up 
And since then, we've basically been just trading sideways, uh, buying time before we most likely will go higher. So we the highest we got was at the 1200 before we basically broke down. And this is also due to the US dollar uh, appreciating and therefore it puts pressure on this pair, uh, basically the prices, the prices down. So we got all the way down to the uh, this white line here, which is the 40 exponential moving average. And we did not pierce that or, or and we basically uh, even broke above and, and landed extract exactly on the 20 exponential moving average. So at this point, we will probably see something similar to this trading sideways. And when the US dollar starts depreciating again, which is most likely will do uh, because of the Fed's uh, monetary policy, uh, we will see this market go higher. And if we break these this high of uh, 1200, uh, then we'll go significantly higher. Next target here is uh, next target is all the way up this area here, which is uh, 12, uh, 1210 level. So if we look at the technical indicators, the MACD is really negative. Uh, the RSI is basically pointing upwards. So and the stochastic is basically in a downward trajectory and the Bollinger Band, we're basically at the bottom of the of the lower uh, Bollinger Band. So the technical indicators are fairly, yeah, they're all over the place at the moment. Um, if you're going to trade this pair, I would look at the uh, US dollar index. And when you basically see that US dollar index uh, starts to depreciate again, when it basically hits the 15 moving average, most likely, this market will go higher. So Aussie dollar, US dollar. So we had this really nice run uh, pre the previous week. Uh, we ran into resistant at 0, uh, 074, and then we basically broke down. And again, probably due to the US dollar appreciating, uh, we did uh, break the 20 exponential moving average, but we and landed above. So this is quite a good indication that we will not break down uh, significantly from here. We'll probably see some choppiness before we go higher. And if we break these previous high of 0, 0, uh, 0741, then we'll go much higher. Uh, the MACD is quite negative. We'll probably cross the signal line uh, on Monday session or, or on Tuesday session. The RSI is pointing upwards and uh, Stochastic is basically in a downward trajectory and the MACD is also in a downward trajectory. So we'll probably, yeah, I don't expect us to go down to the 20 moving average, uh, exponential moving average. We may do, but no, I would have basically guess that we would stay within this close range uh, of basically being really choppy uh, buying up time and then we go higher from there. So US dollar, Canadian dollar. So I talked about this last week that we were trading in a channel and at this point we are still in the channel. So upper channel, upper lines, uh, resistant line is uh, basically straight on the uh, 20 exponential moving average and then we have this support line uh, here and then we're basically just ping ponging in this channel. We hit the upper uh, channel on Tuesday and then we broke down significantly. And I would not be surprised if we went very close to this uh, lower um, support uh, line here before going up again and then just continuing the same way. So if we break out of this channel to the upside, we will basically run into resist, uh, resistant in the, 20, the 40 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average. And if we were break through this uh, support uh, line here, we'll go significantly lower. Uh, how low? We'll probably go down to this area here, which has 1280. And then we'll go to this area, which is uh, 1255, uh, before going down to uh, 1227 and all the way down to 1208. 
at this point, just pay attention to this um, to this uh, channel here. As long as this is um, we train in this channel, it's really fairly predictable that every single time we basically get close to the twenty exponential moving average or this um, or this uh, resistant line, uh, prices will go down, and so you can buy and sell. Um, um, whenever it basically gets close to this channel. That's why I like trading channels. Uh, so uh, we can basically see the RSI is headed in the downward trajectory, which would make sense that we would go lower from here. Uh, RSI, um, MACD is basically on the signal line. So, well, we'll probably go back down here as well. Uh, the the Bollinger Band, we can basically see the, the resistant line. And uh, we are also in the in the moving average in the Bollinger Band, so we'll probably go lower from there. And the uh, stochastic is fairly uh, neutral at this point, and will most likely break and go down, and and we will continue our down downward trajectory. So, I hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscriber button. And hit the bell button to see our newest videos. Thank you very much and good luck.